This video is um, referring to voter fraud in the uh, 2020 presidential election and the uh, hypocrisy in sentences for those responsible for it. There is no widespread voter fraud that has been proven in the 2020 election. But that's not to say that there was not any voter fraud at all. There is four cases that comes to mind. One is a Republican from Nevada. One is a Ohio uh, congressional. I don't remember if he's a candidate or elected official. I believe he's an elected official. And two from Pennsylvania. They are all Republican. They're all white men, and they all voted illegally for Donald Trump. And um, three of them got probation. One of them got three days in jail. And um, I'm about to expose the hypocrisy in that. First off, there is a case from a few years back. A woman was a felon. But she thought she had the right to vote, and she didn't vote. She simply applied to vote. Her, her, her vote never was cast, and she got five years in prison. And also, there was a case in Tennessee that just happened. Um, a lady who had a felony, so she applied to – she actually – asked the probation office, and they filled out paperwork for her to be able to vote. Well, she didn't vote. She simply applied to vote because she was attempting to get her rights back to vote because if you have a felony, you should be able to vote if you pay your debt to society and you apply to get your vote back. She attempted that. She did everything she thought she needed to do. And there was plenty of evidence to back up that she did not break the law. She was simply trying to get her rights back. She got sentenced to six years in prison. And um, now here's where the hypocrisy comes in. Four white men who did vote illegally, they was convicted. They got collectively, three days in jail. And the two females who was attempting to vote, was attempting to get their right to vote and was attempting to vote, they didn't even vote, got a collective 11 years in prison. And you know what the difference is between those two? The two women who got convicted of voter fraud, they didn't even commit voter fraud. They're black. And the four men who was convicted of committing voter fraud, one of them voted for his dead wife, one of them voted for his dead father, one of them donated, donated, or, uh, voted for his dead mother, and I don't remember what the fourth, I don't remember that, I think it was his wife also, but um, I'm not exactly sure, but they was convicted of voter fraud. And they got no jail time. And two black women who did not break the law, who was attempting to vote because they thought they had the right, and they should have the right. Anybody who pays their debt to society should be allowed to vote. Just because you commit a crime when you're, you know, once in your life doesn't mean you should be ostracized the rest of your life. And, you know, that's the hypocrisy of the Republican Party and Christians in general. They, they preach forgiveness and all this and then when you get out of prison you can't even get a job you can't get any help you are doomed for breaking the law once in your life there is no redemption you are judged for the rest of your life for one mistake
unless you're a Republican who commits voter fraud, then you get probation. Or three days in jail. Oh, what a freaking joke that is. But um, that right there is our criminal justice system. And nobody... Nobody's going to tell me that it's not based on race. Nobody's going to tell me that. Because them two women did not break the law. They was attempting to exercise their right to vote. And the one lady was attempting to get her right to vote restored, which she has every freaking right to do. And, um, you know, like Republicans down in uh, Florida, they... They passed a law to allow felons to get the right, rights to vote. Well, <laughs> the Republicans don't like that. Because most of the people who are considered undesirable are brown, like white people aren't criminals. But they made them pay, um, after they passed the law, they, they created a backdoor measure to where they can't... Uh, they can't get their rights to vote back unless they pay restitution or whatever their whatever monetary they're you know they're required to pay. But uh, just a backdoor way to disenfranchise more voters. But um, I just wanted to point out the hypocrisy of um, Christians, Christian conservatives, and just basic Republicans. It doesn't matter if they're Christian, Republican, or, or Christian conservative. If they're Republicans, they're hypocrites, and. Uh, you know, don't uh, don't throw stones in a glass house because uh, your whole party's a bunch of criminals, including Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, Chris Christie broke the law. He got away with it. I mean, how many Republicans have got away with <laughs> got away with crimes? You know, got away with crimes. I mean, you know, they, just, they, they don't ever pay for it, but. If you're poor, or black, or brown, you're going to pay for your crime, even if you didn't do it. Yeah, but um, that right there was all I wanted to uh, point out, because I thought that was pretty ridiculous. I'm just disgusted. I mean, I'm pretty much disgusted every day when it comes to the hypocrisy of our justice system, but, um, you know, it... It doesn't get any, any easier to take, and um, but thank you for watching, and you all have a nice evening. Hopefully, there's some justice, in, but I'm not optimistic. Thank you, and have a nice evening. Goodbye.